what's up y'all welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing my hair so first of all I wanted to give you guys a hair update um, my hair isn't like fresh or anything because I'm about to put a wig on so it doesn't matter um, but I wanted to give you guys a linked check so this is actually not an accurate length check because I've already had my hair cut um, but before it was cut it was a little bit longer than this not much longer but a little bit longer but um, I wanted to just show you guys how long it has gotten since the last time I have worn my natural hair on my channel the last time I had my hair cut was in January when I got my hair done for my birthday um, if you guys remember I had red hair it was like a pixie cut it was short um, at the top and all of this was basically gone this was like slick to the back of my head so I, I the last time I had straightened my hair was in February because I did that video the hair video that was the last time I actually straightened my hair at all um, since then I have not straightened it I was blow drying it um, just just a light blow dry just so I could braid it down and put it under my wigs my ba my hair was basically in cornrows um, and in between that I was conditioning my hair I was deep conditioning it so um, this is how much my hair has grown since then it's almost a bob at this point it's still pretty short it's not pixie cut anymore because the back is definitely long as you can see it's like you know curving under before I had this style when we first cut it I'll put a picture here so you guys can see it but before we cut it it was about right here the back was but I didn't like the back being longer than the front because if I'm going to wear my real hair which eventually I will wear my real hair when it my real hair my real hair this is the back the back is shorter we're shaping it into the way that I want it to grow out so instead of it being like a mullet <laughs> I wanted to kind of shape it to where it's gonna grow out to the length that I want it to be in the front I wasn't intentionally trying to grow my hair out I didn't necessarily want to grow my hair out I just did it um it was it wasn't a decision I just kind of let it happen um, because I didn't feel like touching my hair and messing with it so it grew out and now it's long and I don't feel like starting over I mean we might as well just grow it out we already here now right I really wasn't even doing anything to make it grow I didn't get any trims I didn't get any haircuts I didn't do anything I just was putting it away and not touching it and that's how it grew I don't know if I'm gonna stay at the bob I don't know if I'm gonna grow it out from there I'm not sure I'm not sure if I'm gonna just keep it at the bob or grow it out some more if I do plan on growing it out from there I would want it to be all one length that way I can grow it out into a blunt cut like a blunt midi cut or whatever but we'll figure it out when we get there I'm not pressed about it in fact I just really don't care what my hair does as long as it's not falling out of my head I don't care so right now because I'm not because my hair is like really flaky and itchy and stuff I can't wear my hair out okay I'll keep scratching it and I don't want to do that I also don't want to wear my hair out because I have a lot of dandruff. I'm just cornrowing the front so that my hair has something to grab onto. Um, my wig has something to grab onto because otherwise it'll keep sliding back like it was doing in my ColourPop video. Um, if you guys noticed, my hair was not laid in that video. Uh, I don't know what it was doing. I don't even think I tried that day. But I still wanted to film that video because I just wanted to get it done. I had just got those concealers in the mail. We making this happen. A lot of people asked about my hair color. And as far as my hair color goes, you guys know my hair was dyed red. Uh, I had it colored um, professionally, so I don't know what color that was. So in June, if you guys watch my vlog channel, you saw I gave a hair update. Um, and I also had my sister dye my hair um, blue-black, but the blue-black turned my hair purple. So now I have like this burgundy-ish purple hair um, and it was not intentional. So yeah, if you guys are wondering why my hair is this color or how I got it this color, it was a total accident. And if you know anything about me, nine times out of 10, my hair colors are normally accidents. Now that I have my hair down, as good as possible. I mean, this is as good as it's gonna get. This is kind of cute. Usually I slick my hair down before I do my makeup so that I don't get my edges all makeup y. I'm using the Got to Be Glue. This is the Ultra Glued Styling Gel. I'm just slicking my edges back. I'm not gonna do anything too fancy. I'm gonna spray it um, immediately with the Got to Be spray. This is my wig. Um, it's my purple wig. I don't have a name for her, so if you guys want to name her for me, that would be great. I've adjusted the straps in the back, and I'm going to put my parting 
where I want my part to lay. I did pluck my part just a tiny bit, not a whole, whole lot because it really didn't need to be plucked. Some people like to customize their wigs and deep condition them and all that stuff when they get it. If you're cool with doing that, that's awesome. But I'm a lazy person when it comes to my wigs and I just like to get up and go. I don't like to have to do too much to my hair. You can like slick down some hair to make it look like it it's like your hair. Um, I had already done that yesterday when I wore this wig. So that's why this part is already like kind of slick. Sometimes I use eyelash, a little bit of eyelash glue right here in the front where it just doesn't, it's really stubborn um, because that'll hold it even better. And if you really want a good hold, you can tie your hair down um, and let it dry that way. So that is how I put my wig on. Um, and a little update on my hair. If you guys enjoyed that, please give me a thumbs up and let me know. Um, I'll do more hair videos for you guys. This hair is from divaswigs.com. I love Divas Wigs wig. They're some of the most affordable lace wigs on the market. I feel like they have really, really affordable wigs. If you guys want uh, more information about this wig, like all of the details, how long it is, what type of wig cap, um, all that stuff, that will be in the description box. I'll make sure to put all of that in there for you guys, plus a link so you guys can check it out and a coupon code. Um, and yeah, this is the, this is my wig. This top is from ASOS, it's actually really long. And you know what's funny? I saw Justine Sky wearing this top. So I am just really justine out right now. I have on um, Justine's highlight too, her purple highlight uh, collab with MAC. That's it, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Yeah, peace out.